PCOS can manifest in many annoying symptoms like hair loss. Today we're looking into why it happens and what you can do to achieve successful regrowth. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm a clinical nutritionist with a special interest in PCOS. Each week I'm bringing you simple, actionable nuggets of information that you can use to support your PCOS naturally using Nourish Natural Health's PCOS Repair Protocol. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. So here is the science. People living with PCOS experience hair loss because of an irregularity with hormones. Androgens are masculine hormones that specifically contribute to hair loss. This is why it's medically known as androgenic alopecia and the hair loss typically occurs around the front of your hair and in the temples. So your hair follicles on your scalp are actually really sensitive to these androgenic hormones. An overload of the hormones causes your hair follicles to die off and this leads to hair thinning out and falling out. And this is how women who live with PCOS are predisposed to hair loss. It is really important to separate androgenic alopecia from other types of hair loss. Other types of hair loss can be triggered by autoimmunity or even physical stress on the hair and scalp from things like hairstyling. Okay, this is all well and good, but why do I have PCOS hair loss? Here are four causes that we find in clinic for PCOS hair loss. Number one is hormone imbalances. Other hormones aside from androgens could be the culprit for your PCOS hair loss. Low estrogen actually slows down the growth time of hair, which has a counteractive effect and the hair slowing down means that hair falls out faster. Number two is insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is the root cause for up to 80% of PCOS cases. This makes it an extremely common cause for PCOS hair loss. And this is also why getting insulin resistance under control is such an important part of your PCOS journey. Insulin resistance causes high blood sugar, which then goes on to cause a hostile environment for your hair follicles. On top of this, insulin resistance also exacerbates androgenic hormones, raising those levels and again, leading to androgenic alopecia, as we explained earlier. Number three is stress. If you've ever heard of your hair falling out from stress, this is not actually a myth. When you're stressed, your body is in survival mode and blood is being drawn away from the skin and away from your digestive system. This creates a really hostile environment for your hair follicles again, and a high amount of cortisol in the blood also slows down hair growth time. Number four is nutritional deficiencies. Nutritional deficiencies can be a contributing factor to PCOS hair loss. The main culprits are iron, vitamin D, and vitamin B12. All three nutrients play a role in the health of the hair follicles as well as the growth time of hair itself. If there is a deficiency in any of these three nutrients, then this can exacerbate PCOS hair loss. But don't worry, there are so many natural and deliberate strategies that we can implement to help tackle PCOS hair loss. Here are six common ways that PCOS hair loss is treated. Number one is medications or the oral contraceptive pill. The oral contraceptive pill is commonly prescribed by doctors to manage PCOS symptoms. The problem is, is it doesn't address the root cause and is somewhat of a band-aid. It will reduce your androgen levels, which will reduce PCOS hair loss. However, once you go off the pill, all of your symptoms will just come back. And sometimes they can come back worse. Number two is a balanced diet. Diet is an important pillar in the management of your PCOS and the Nourish Natural Health PCOS Repair Protocol. Here are some foods with some key nutrients that we love to nourish your body. Nuts, legumes, mushrooms and eggs all contain zinc, iron, and magnesium. Carrots for vitamin A, seafood, banana, and cheese for B vitamins, fatty fish for omega-3s, as well as peanuts and liver for biotin. As well as this, there are some foods that you should avoid if you don't want your symptoms to flare up. The foods to minimize where possible are refined grains, simple carbs like sugars, candies, and cookies, fish with lots of mercury, as well as fried foods and lots of red meat. The next way to support your PCOS hair loss is with nutritional supplements. So supplements can help with your symptoms by correcting nutritional deficiencies. They also support bodily functions that can help to reduce inflammation, improve your insulin sensitivity, and balancing hormones to overall reduce androgen levels. Androgen Blocker Plus is the Nourish Natural Health's best-selling supplement 
supplement. Using this supplement, you can reduce your androgen levels, which will have a direct effect on your PCOS hair loss. Number four is regular exercise. Regular mindful movement is another pillar in your PCOS management. Whilst there isn't one size fits all when it comes to exercise, we do like to think of exercise as the best one being the one that you enjoy. According to experts, 150 minutes of moderate exercise and 70 minutes of vigorous exercise per week is optimal when managing your PCOS. And number five is stress management. As we learned earlier, high stress levels play a crucial role in PCOS hair loss. It's really important to find ways to manage your stress, whether this comes from nature walks, meditation, journaling, knitting, or gardening. All of these activities are great for reducing stress and it is so important in the management of your PCOS. That's all for this video. If you feel like you need tailored guidance or more information, please head to our website and take the quiz to see what the root cause of your PCOS PCOS may be. Get in contact to be a part of our sisterhood. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more PCOS information. Bye!